All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to configure OSPF cost on an interface. We're going to start off with the baseline show commands of show IPv6, OSPF interface, and then the interface between router 2 and 3, and, and that interface is Ethernet 0, 01 is the interface on router 2. And then we're going to do a show IPv6 route to see how router 2 gets back to router 3's prefixes. We don't have any debug commands in this video cheat sheet. And then we're going to configure or manipulate the OSPF version 3 cost on the, the link once again between router 2 and 3. And then we're going to finish up with the verification show commands of show IPv6 OSPF interface and IPv6 route. So let's look at the network topology. Like I already mentioned, we're going to manipulate the cost on this link right here between router 2 and router 3 and we're going to man manipulate that cost on the interface here on router 2 and 3. So let's start off with our show IPv6 OSPF interface Ethernet 0 1 command and this we're going to execute this command on router 2. As you can see right here we have a cost of 10 going out this interface and that's because even with OSPF version 2 and OSPF version 3 or alike where they're they they're referenced the default reference bandwidth is based on 100 meg and in another video cheat sheet we're actually going to change that reference bandwidth but for now it's still based off 100 meg so an ethernet interface has a cost of 10. So let's see how router 2 wants to get back to router 3's loopback address. It wants to go out that Ethernet 01 interface, which is the interface between router 2 and router 3. And once again, I want to point out, if you haven't caught this in another video cheat sheet, that we never put a global IPv6 address on this link for router 2 and for router 3. It's only using link local addresses. All we did for this interface on both router 2 and 3 was enable IPv6 and so far everything's working fine as far as OSPF goes. So let's manipulate the cost. The way you do that is with this command right here. You say under the interface you say IPv6 OSPF cost and then you change the cost. So we're going to change it to 100. So let's go ahead and put that in. So now the cost is 10 and we're changing it to 100. So now we're going to go back and check the interface to make sure that the command took. And right here the cost went from 10 to now it's 100. See right here it was 10 and now it's 100. So the command took. So now to go out that interface it, it basically went up 90 cost points if you will. It went from 10 to 100 so now let's see if routing has changed and if router 2 now decides to get to router 3's IPv6 loopback address instead of going out interface 01 like it wanted to up here right here that's where we did the last show IP route command and it said I want to go out this interface right here it now wants to go out this interface which is the interface that goes over to router 4. So let's go ahead and go on over and do the same thing for 3 because this because what we did only affects how router 2 goes out that interface and uh, and makes decisions. So let's look at the interface that goes back on router 3 that goes back to router 2. It has a cost of 10 and the best way to get to the loopback address of router 2 is to go over the interface that connects to router 2. So let's change the cost. Alright, we just changed the cost to 100 just like we did for router 2. And now let's do our two show commands and see if it's changed. The cost changed to 100 for the interface, which is what we wanted. And now, instead of going out interface 02, which went back over to router 2 to get to router 2's loopback address, and now wants to go out 01's interface, which is the interface that goes over to router 4 to get to router 2's loopback address. So that is how you manipulate OSPF version 3 cost in an IPv6 OSPF version 3 network.